Hey Cancer, welcome to your general weekly reading for November 1st through the 7th for anyone with Cancer in their charts. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies can show up reversed for you. And again, it's a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? You guys may be dealing with a little bit of inner conflict, okay? When I was doing your pre-shuffle before uh, I started recording, the devil in the reverse was coming out, the two of wands, okay? I feel like you guys are trying to assess a situation, a certain way of living, right? And try to grow, okay? I don't think you're feeling... Um, satisfied or fulfilled on a soul level okay you guys are showing up as the king of wands in the reverse so that is yeah <laughs> exactly that okay the king of wands when he's balanced he's very passionate about what his attention um is drawn to okay he has studied this subject right he's um learned it he's able to lead others very like an entrepreneur status okay so I see you really almost um, searching for what is it that ignites me? What is it that's special, right? Clarifying this, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? It can be talking about your career here or just feeling stable in general, right? Being able to take care of yourself, take care of a family maybe. Um, Queen of Pentacles, yeah, exactly. So the Queen of Pentacles, when she's balanced, she's able to have it all, okay? Gender not specific, but she has a very full plate okay and she's balancing all of it the career the family the friends whatever um her soul needs her to right because it's all coming from soul she has a soul connection with it okay ten of wands and yeah i don't think you do there's a lot of pressure here pressure that's not yours right it comes in as stress but it also comes in as um artificial pressure okay things that you tell yourself you're responsible for that maybe you're not okay your challenge is the star aquarius energy here okay healing a renewal okay this is a second chance to heal something for a lot of you it can also be about a wish fulfilled okay getting what you want the hermit just came out virgo energy you're really going to want to connect with your intuition Okay, because your intuition is going to allow your soul to speak for you and it will become clear what path you should be on. Okay, whether that's you wishing for something to work out, whether that's you know that you should be on another path. Okay, but there's something here where you need to quiet out the external noise and really go within. Okay, seven of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're very defensive right now, okay? And maybe that's where this conflict energy is coming through that we were talking about earlier, okay? But it's um, because you feel insecure with yourself, you're having problems trusting yourself, right? That you're on the right path. So everything you're doing is very, um, I don't want to say in secret, but it just feels like you're very defensive about it, okay? Interesting. I feel like um, you may be uh, just having triggers, okay, especially after this Aries full moon, right, where people maybe say something and you take it one way, right? Like maybe you take it as they're insulting your work ethic when that's nothing that they meant, okay? Um, pay attention to your triggers, what comes up. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you just want to find something that is stable. You want to be sure as you're moving towards something, right, because you want to be sure it... Um, fulfills you on that stable level okay what's going on around you your focus is on the three of pentacles in the reverse okay so you could be trying to rebuild okay after a financial setback um this could be talking about third party energy as well something that's distracting you from being successful okay let's see it could be dealing with an earth sign okay virgo capricorn or taurus here's the star again so your challenge has a lot to do with what you're focused on. You could be wishing for this, okay? And it's coming up as third-party energy. Something that you think that you want, you need, okay? And that can be where the King of Wands in the reverse, where that energy is coming from as well, okay? Because that would be telling me as a reader that you're coming from ego, not soul, okay? It feels like soul. It feels like you have to do this. You really want to, but it's impulse, okay? 
let's see what else I can get off this star. Death in reverse, Scorpio energy, the priest in reverse, Taurus energy. Interesting. There is a cycle that needs to end here, okay? Some type of transformation, okay? What you're wishing on is going to bring you, well, has the potential to bring you a lot of clarity, a lot of healing, okay? There's a cycle that's been going on for a, a long time where you go to the next shiny thing, right? I just had a friend say to me recently, a Scorpio friend, so thank you, Scorpio friend, okay? About how easy it can be to be drawn, right, to the new shiny toy. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening with this focus right now. Um, so be careful about that, okay? Because something that you wish is for you, it can be a relationship, again, a job, a career, a, an idea, okay, a project. Whatever it means, okay, you're going to be really tempted. And the way you're going to be able to tell if it's ego or soul, okay, is going to be your patience level with you and yourself, okay? Understanding the higher purpose. Those are all things to look at, okay? I want to pull a little bit more because there's so many major arcanas clarifying what you're focused on right now. So I kind of want to spend some time right here. With the death in the reverse, the star, and the priest in the reverse, okay? You are refusing to do something a different way, okay? The priest in the reverse is saying... No, I'm, I've got this. I'm going to do it my way, okay? But this is why the cycle can't end, okay? You're being asked to do things by the book, to commit to one thing, even if it feels boring, right? Or like it's not um, the brightest toy in the toy box, okay? We're looking for stability, right? What you really want wants you. It just may not look like what you envision, Okay? You have to connect with your soul, but that's completely why the priest is here in the reverse. I really just want to touch on that. Anything else? Wow. Four major arcana cards for what your focus is right now. Which is ironic because I feel like what it's telling you is anything you're focused on is not right right now. It's not in alignment. Your soul has a lesson. I mean, the card of judgment, this is second chances. This is evaluating our morals, our boundaries. Why are we here? What's the point? What makes us truly fulfilled, happy, okay? Things that money and attention and fame, right? They can't fulfill that. Sure, it may be a part of it. It may be something that we really wish for. Okay, but what's going to make us feel whole? Remember, the Queen of Pentacles, we were talking about this energy earlier that showed up. See if I can find her for you. She's beautiful. She's abundant because she has a full plate, remember? And she's balancing it very well, okay? The Queen of Pentacles has a connection with everything she does from her soul. I said that earlier, okay? There is a cycle here where we're doing just because we think we should, okay? That can be, remember we said we were coming off in the defensive energy, okay? This might be embarrassing to look at or it may bring us, I'm getting shame for some reason because we feel like we're supposed to have it all figured out, right? But that's not the case here, okay? And you're being asked to really shift perspectives, okay? Cards are flying out like crazy. Six of Pentacles. Make sure that, yeah, that's such a good point. Thank you, Spirit. I love that. An equal give and take, okay? Another way that you can tell if something is in alignment for you, if it's meant for you, you're going to have to put energy into what you want. Absolutely. Okay. But anything that's meant for you won't have to be forced. There's a difference between working for it. Okay. And trying to force something. Right. And then we're just standing there with banging our heads against the wall. Okay. And in the past, you have the tower in the reverse. Okay. More Scorpio energy. There is some type of cycle and it can be in your shadow. So check your bonus, uh, shadow work video under the Scorpio playlist if you want to look at that, okay? But there is something deep ingrained within you, okay? And the fact that this is coming through in your past and showing it's not healed tells me you've been carrying this around for a really, really long time. Maybe it's just needing others approval, right? Or knowing your purpose, okay? Let's see. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse, wow and the King of Cups in the reverse. <sighs> I see you visiting this before, right? Trying to assess 
your boundaries maybe, or what, again, what you want, right? Analyzing what it is that you want. But the second that you were triggered, okay, or that you got upset or that you had that feeling of being inferior or things weren't enough, I see you turning your back to it. Hmm. It's interesting because what needs you to keep going and push through is this unbalanced tower here and our foundation. But you put all of that energy into third party things. Ah, oh, Cancer, if you could just get your shit together, man, you would be like the most powerful manifester, okay? You guys are, there's so much passion and love and energy going into um, conflict right now. And it can be inner conflict, just driving yourself nuts thinking about stuff, okay? Or, uh, I don't know, but you're being asked to look at something here. Your strength is the Ace of Wands. It is time for the new beginning. Oof, oof, oof. Yes, the Ace of Wands. That can be a new relationship, okay? But this is that spark, okay? Now be careful. Is this a test, right? Is this another shiny toy that's going to make us feel impulsive? Or is this something that we know we're going to identify with on a soul level? Because that's the goal, okay? That's always the goal. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. It has the opportunity to really give you that spark. But again, you have to be willing to come out of how you've always gone about things, okay? dedicate yourself to a new way. The nine of pentacles in the reverse is saying you've been working on something, okay, for a long time, right? It could be um, perhaps you're in a relationship with somebody or you've been friends since childhood and you don't know that they're serving you anymore, right? It's something like that. Hmm. The tower in the reverse. Wow. This cycle is following you around, Cancer. Ooh, Scorpio season though, right? Tis the time to clean it out. Queen of Cups in the reverse. How funny is that? You had the King of Cups in the reverse in the past. Now your strength, okay? You're going through a situation or you're going to be tempted with a situation where your soul, okay, knows you're supposed to go a certain direction. Or maybe your soul just speaks to you and says, we have to step off this path, okay? It's going to trigger you. It's going to make you feel like all of a sudden you're no longer flowing, okay? It can be in a relationship. I say that because Cups is here. This is your energy, okay? When you feel good, you naturally give in love, okay? So be mindful of that, that you may have to cut some certain people off or you may have to change your behavior or you may have to give to yourself because this is coming in as like a codependence. You're like, no, I need this thing, right? This job, this relationship to stand, right? To function. And that's not the truth, okay? And it is in your strength to clear out that pattern that you've been carrying it around for a long time. This is getting deep as always. <laughs> okay, going forward, uh, we have the King of Swords. I love it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is the truth with clarity, okay? Um, there's no second guessing here. Something's going to appear. It can be the Ace of Wands energy if you choose to take advantage on what path you need to be on, okay? Six of Pentacles, yep. You learn the lesson, an equal give and take. That's what we were talking about before in your focus. It was right here. Anyway, it was right here. <laughs> anyway, that's all about an equal give and take in your time, okay? Your energy, your love, right? You should be working towards it and having obvious benefits from the universe, okay? That yes, this is an alignment. The universe will communicate to you, okay? If this is in a relationship, this person should be giving as much time as you do. It's something about balance, okay? It's something about you clearing out this mm, cycle of you overgiving or overtaking, okay? From certain things. Four of Pentacles, yes. It's gonna bring you a lot of stability. You're being asked to reflect with gratitude when you're um, speaking your truth, okay? No more guilt, no more shame. Being thankful for the lessons everywhere you've been because it taught you who you are right now in this moment, right? 
Queen of Swords. Wow. Yeah. So this is you not only knowing your truth with clarity, but speaking your truth. Okay. There's a lot of work behind the scenes once you are willing to take advantage of the strength energy here. Okay. This new beginning, this passionate new beginning that you can grab a hold on if you're willing to let the past go, right? Past conditions, relationships, whatever that means for you. It can be freeing, but you have to live in a state of gratitude, not seeing it as a loss, seeing it as this no longer serves you and you just don't need it anymore. But you're so grateful for how far it brought you, okay? Your advice is the lovers in the reverse, Gemini energy. Work through the triggers on feeling alone, okay? Even if you're in a partnership right now, okay? Knowing you, okay? Who you are. Because this is a separated energy, okay? And we talked about it, right? In your strength position, as we acknowledge things, it may come up and it may make us feel codependent or like we need someone or something to survive. Right now, it's coming through as a someone, okay? The devil. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Now, again, it can be a relationship. It can be the idea that you need to be in a relationship to be loved or worth receiving love or showing love. The priestess in the reverse. Yeah, there's a blocked intuition going on here, okay? I will try to be mindful to link the video I did, okay? Because this is talking about a lot of shadow work. So if you guys are still watching and you find this relevant, check the comments. I will try to be mindful to link it for you because... Uh, there's a lot of information there, okay, because you're not listening to something. You know something from within, okay? And maybe this is what you're already acknowledging, right? But this usually says that there's more, okay? There's also a message here about accepting your darkness just as much as your light, okay? It's not about shedding all the dark and all the unhappiness. It's about accepting it. And I don't know that you have established that, okay? the empress yeah just approach yourself with love okay you truly are reparenting right now okay your inner child that is um this is your energy though cancer along with libra as well okay you are meant to listen to your intuition okay to be abundant to look at situations from compassion reflecting on your own lessons and how painful it was for you to learn that right break the cycles a lot of compassion to yourself while you're breaking the cycles but at the same time responsibility right something you do not see coming is the three of swords in the reverse that thing that you thought you would never get over and it would hurt forever and that we've been running from right in the past we've seen it pop up all over the spread it's healing from that true healing not i feel better today okay it's a new mindset it's a new understanding it's um, a new depth that we've met on ourselves. okay? That four of pentacles is like popping up for me in my third eye like crazy right now. It's living in gratitude, okay? And because of that, it allows us to have this new mindset and it allows us to reach a new level of consciousness, forgiveness, healing, love, okay? All the major arcanas this week. Happy Scorpio season, Cancer. Temperance in the reverse. You've been waiting a long time, okay? And I'm also getting like, yeah, okay, I'll believe it when I see it. And that's fine. <laughs> that's completely fine. You don't see it coming, okay? And it may have kept you blocked with your connection from the divine for a long time because it's like one of those things where it's like, well, if God is real, why can this happen, okay? You may be gaining those answers, truly, okay? The magician in the reverse. All the major arcanas. That's crazy, realizing how you've been in your own way because of this mindset you've been living in you've been blocking your own happiness your own abundance your own manifestations four of wands been blocking closure you could have had it the whole time i very much just got like wizard of oz right like you could have gone to home this whole time dorothy just click your shoes that's you <laughs> a message from your soul six of pentacles oh my god I don't even know. I feel like I saw this 30 times already, but yeah, here's the other one. Guys, this is popping up like crazy. Equal give and take, okay? 
duality, accepting our darkness and light, putting the same amount of energy, time, effort, love into situations that we're getting, paying attention if we're being blocked by the universe, right? Or if we're being rewarded for our effort. Effort is good, okay? Obsession is not. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is getting so long too. Oh my goodness, 10 of wands in reverse. That's great. Walking out of this week, okay? There's an acknowledgement. Remember we were talking earlier about that artificial pressure, okay? That you feel like you're responsible for stress, burden. It's you starting to comprehend what you are and are not responsible for, okay? The queen of wands fell out. So that's a lot of passion right there. All of these fell out too. I'm not going to take all of them, but I am going to glance. Can be with a soulmate connection. Absolutely. Maybe dealing with a Leo. Okay. This person's also very stressed out too, but they're not seeing the situation for what you are. Be mindful of that in conflict. Okay. Are they understanding, right? What you're saying? Because someone, you can only understand them from their level of perception, right? yeah there's this back and forth energy where it's like you keep trying to offer love okay trying to offer a gift but it's never good enough and it makes you feel inferior and like you're not enough but you are enough cancer okay um it's getting really long so i'm gonna end it there but check out those bonus vi work videos if this resonates please like share subscribe comment down below and most of all be kind especially to yourself bye